Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. Today is a big day because Minecraft 1.14 is finally out officially. We are playing in 1.14 right now. This world is now in 1.14, which makes this an official Minecraft 1.14 Let's Play series. And give me that sapling. Yes, thank you very much. I don't think I have a. Okay, good. I have the default. Good. Good. Yeah. This is now a 1.14 world and let's play as well. And because 1.14 adds so many new things, well, okay, let, let me calm, calm down for one moment. <laughs> On my Discord server, I made a vote um, because I didn't know if we should start a brand new world or if we should continue in our current one. And I'll probably show it on the screen right now, but the votes said that we, the majority of votes said that we should continue with this world. So that is what I chose to do. And I, this is what I wanted to do mostly, mainly because we have gotten all this progress so far and I didn't really want to start all over again with all of this stuff. Have to mine again and get to where we are now, basically. Um, so I'm really happy that that happened and yeah, we're continuing this world in 1.14. Now 1.14 adds a bunch of new features and a bunch of new cool things. Let me just clean up my inventory while I ramble on. Um, but yeah, a bunch of new blocks, a bunch of new interesting stuff that we will hopefully be playing with. And I got a few planned for today. I was a little, I was a little bit overwhelmed when I think my, I think it wasn't it. I think it was released like three hours ago or something um, and I was like oh no what am, what am I gonna do there's so much to do and I think I know exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna make a bunch of the new blocks not today but in the coming episodes we're gonna do a bunch with the 1.14 um, update but what I want to do a lot is to make a cartography area I want to make a wall map area thing and I think it would be very much suited over here because it's close to the entrance and close to the bed. I think it would fit well over here. Um, my general idea is to have a big wall with a big map on it and the cartography table next to it. I think that would look pretty cool. So I think we're going to get started with that. I just want this wall gone basically so we can dig in a little bit and also, yes, that's set to bright. Cool. Otherwise it would be very dark down here. And uh, yeah, we don't we don't want darkness, of course. That's that's bad. So we are removing this wall here, so we can get a big map going over there. I think I'm gonna take it three blocks in. So you know what? I think this I think this calls for a time lapse. Don't you think? Yeah, I th I think it calls for a time lapse. Let's do that. Starting in three, two, one. All right, so the wall has been cut out and now I just need to figure out what I want to do with this. Hmm. I want it at this level because if I go up, I will lose space for the map. So I think this stone got to go and be replaced with birch wood. And then I got to figure out what to do over here. I could make it stairs all the way down and then make like a continue this going upwards actually. I think I might just do that actually. That's probably going to be the easiest to do. So continue this over here basically. And get rid of that torch. Do like that. Do like that. And like so. Yeah. And then continue the stairs down. And then we will have the cartography area over here. Let me just see how much birch wood I have. Hopefully I have enough from the previous project that we did um i should yeah that's definitely plenty <laughs> hopefully uh yes plenty all right so we're just gonna add that add a torch there gotta figure out what to do with this i might replace this top border with birch locks all the way around that that could look interesting 
Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I also want to do, depending on how much time we have, I do want to do a couple of other things as well um, in this episode. But let's see. Okay, so I think the next bit is to remove the stone. Also, I feel like I feel like you go down a lot more when you shift. It might just be me, but I feel like your vision gets dropped down down quite a lot. I mean, it would make sense, but yeah, it just it just feels weird now. <laughs> it feels just a little bit weird to me, but um, I'll have to get used to it. I'll have to get used to it. All right, there we go. Now I'm adding these using slabs because saves wood because we want to save materials. I don't have that much of this stuff. And to be honest, it's not cutting trees that I want to do most of. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. All right, well, one off, one off. Yep. Well, yep. Okay. Okay. So basically this would be one, two, three, four, five, then one, two, three, four, five. So that would basically be here. It would basically be this bit here that would have the map because one, two, three, four, five and one, two, three, four, five. We could extend it more. Now I want to make the cartography table. Now I just got to remember how to make this. Okay. So I need paper. I need paper. I got the wood. I just need paper. Uh, paper. I think two pieces I think should do. Do I have a random crafted table in here? No, I don't. Okay. That's fine. We could use this and then just do that and shazam. Cartography table. Ah, I, don't, I don't know why I like to say that, shazam. I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, if we place it down, basically the cartography table is used to zoom out ma on maps and lock maps and stuff like that. So. We definitely need it if we are building this. Now, I don't know where that thing should go because I feel like, hmm, part of me wants the wall to go in one more and then make this entire thing into a map. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna do that. Cue another time left. Three, two, one, go. All right, yeah, I think that looks much better. This entire wall will be will be the map. We can even cut this part off eventually if we want. And then this thing can stand right here or something. I don't know, maybe, you know, maybe we'll make a little in cave here that will, that will be our map study room. I, I don't know. Of course, feel free to leave comments down below, suggestions, what I could do. Why am I also always missing? I'm always never going to get all these used up at one, at one, in one go. I always have some remain. You know what? I think we'll put that in there for now. I'm going to need to make a cow farm or something because I need this place covered in item frames. So yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to need a cow farm. To be honest, I'm not really happy with this thing being in here. I don't I don't like I don't like the look of that at all. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do this for now and leave your suggestions down below. You know what? That could work. You know, we come over here, we do our work, maybe at a chair or something and then this entire wall will be maps. We could do that. Leave me your suggestions down below in the comments section. That's one of the reasons why it's there. Feedback. Uh -huh. I guess that's the main reason why it's there. Feedback. Now this is probably, if I can find the thing. Uh, yeah, this can spawn mobs. We don't want that. We might need to make, yeah, a couple of torches just to place on the ground temple. Temple, temp, temple, temporarily. Meh, English work. <laughs> okay, let me just um, put all this away because I think what the next thing I want to make is a composter because above us we have our farms and 
I usually have, especially from the wheat, wait, that's wrong. Uh, hold on. There we go. Like that, like that. I usually have a bunch of seeds leftovers when I have farmed my wheat farm and having a composter would really be nice around here. So I think if we added like, I don't know, right here. And because, take a look at this chest. Seed, 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 seed. Hold on. Okay, it's just, it's just a bunny. I mean, I can fill this thing up with seeds and like get bone meal out of it. I might as well get something out of all these seeds. I'm not gonna use the seeds for anything else whatsoever. So what I'm actually thinking of doing, because they can take a hopper um, input. I don't remember if they can take a hopper output. Well, time to test. Time to do science. All right, let's see if this works. If I place a hopper there and I put in it seeds. Okay, I'm guessing the hopper have to be on top of it then. Like that. Yes, then it works. Okay, so my guess is then I can put a chest here and then a hopper facing into that. Yes, perfect. So I can basically have this automated because I can just do that and have automated bone meal. So, okay, so now I go in, it's harvest day. Uh, it's time to, time to harvest. Oh, the sounds. It's no longer loud. It's so sweet. Yes. Oh, I love the sound. Gotta make a video. 30 minutes just punching weed not weed wheat <laughs> that 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 was wrong <laughs> gotta make a 30 30 minute video punching it and planting it L sounds yay I I love these sounds I love the new sounds in 1.14 this I love it I just love it it's amazing but yes watch here now I have Farmed my fields. There we go. I have all these seeds left over. What am I gonna do? I'm of course gonna throw them in there, and I'll have free bone meal that I could use for other things. I'm gonna take this wheat with me because I actually do need some food. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Also, if I have leftover saplings, I'll just flop them down there. Yes, that is. Amazing, I need these potatoes and nope, saplings just thrown in there. Now I do actually I don't need them. Get in there. <laughs> yes, that's so sweet. That's so cool. I love it. Okay. Um one of you actually I believe it was Spice Mines in the last video suggested that I mixed in I think it was some terracotta for the torch posts, I believe. I think I've got a in the next episode, work on this farm area a little bit more and potentially make a bridge over there. I think we're going to do that in the next episode, but this episode is mainly for 1.14, so we'll get working on that. Now, that was the composter. I don't know how long this video is, but I think I want to add one slight... Wow, that's not a lot of food in here. Um, I think I want to add one small detail, maybe two. But I think actually two. I want to add two small details because because I can and it's new features and I want to use them. Um, yes, I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so I wanted to make actually three things in total, but one of them is not craftable, so I guess I'll have to live without that. One of the one one of the things I wanted to make was the the bell, but apparently that is not craftable, unfortunately. So I'll have to live without that for now, but I can make something else if I get that and these. Yes, I wanted to try something because they have added barrels and I think barrels are pretty cool because they could fit in literally holes like this and can still be opened. Like chests are cool. Also, chests can be made double. I don't think barrels can. I'll be surprised if they can. Maybe unless you put them 
like that. No. But those are cool, and I could use barrels for storage in chests instead of chests. That could work, or we could extend it up here with barrels. Actually, will the chest be able to open with if a barrel is on top of it? Nope. Not not like that. No. Okay. But what we could have is barrels underneath the chests, like this. How would that look? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I want to use them for something, but I don't know what yet. So let me know <laughs> what you think down in the comments below, because I want to use them for something, and I'll take almost any suggestions, because I want to use them. I think they're cool. Also, let's get a torch. Okay. Now, probably the last thing for this video, because you probably can't tell, but I am... I'm tired. Okay. I'm, I'm tired today, so... <laughs> that's also why I'm just playing around with all these small, small new features and stuff. Because I want to see how things are in 1.14 and such. But the last thing I wanted to make was a campfire. Now, where should this be placed? I feel like it should be placed up here. And we'll make a nice um, area over here, I think, with a campfire and maybe some chairs and stuff. But right now, I feel like doing a campfire. Listen to that. I love it. And the smoke is cool too. Let me just... Oh, yeah, actually, I can place multiple campfires around here and put hay bales under them. And the, and the smoke signals will be able to help me guide my way home. Because I, uh, me finding the way back home is not always happening the way it should. Um, but I was going to get my raw beef. Because that can actually be cooked. Now all we need is is it for it become to become night time which it seems like is okay close by but i mean how much stuff ow okay you actually do get hurt by it even if you crouch okay that's interesting oh they smoke when they are done maybe i don't know this is interesting they're definitely cooking I love this feature. I love it so much. I think it's a very cool feature. Now, we have only touched on a couple of things um, today in this video, but we're definitely going to be taking a more, more, we're definitely going to be taking, ooh, my beef. Yay. <laughs> we're definitely going to be taking more, uh, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Help me. <laughs> we're definitely going to be taking uh, a look at all the other features in 1.14 like they're all the they're the wandering trader actually one thing I did want to do but I think this video is getting kind of long I wanted to see the villagers over at the village you know what will they have to do that in the next episode before we start project over here I'll try and remember to start the episode over in the village all right I'll try and remember to do that because I want to see how they look but um yeah, we have the wandering trader, we have the pillagers now, we have raids that can happen in villages, and we have um, outposts, and I'm happy that I have not explored that much now, because we will be able to generate 1.14 terrain. We have mainly explored in that direction, and that. We have not explored in this direction much. Maybe a little bit in that direction, but I don't think so. All this is pretty much unexplored in that way. So that is, I'm really excited about that. Ow, that jump scares me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very excited about that. And of course, now that we have a map wall, we of course need to, um, we need to expand it with maps. So we need to put some actual maps on there. So I need to get some cows over here and start a cow farm. But um, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this episode while watching the sun set in the distance. So um, before it gets too dark and monsters start coming out I will uh, yeah say goodbye for now because that's the end of this video ow okay you can't you can actually shut these off I think
but I don't want to. It's cozy. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope that you are excited about 1.14 because I certainly am, and we're going to be taking a look at all the other features, or most of them at least, those that we can in the future. But um, yeah, that's that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you are excited about this survival let's play series. It's now in 1.14. So yeah, that is very exciting. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and enable those notifications. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Share it with your friends, of course. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Join my Discord server, link down below. Follow me on Twitter, link down below as well. And I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Now I better get inside before darkness comes, because ye creepers and stuff. I don't want this place to be blown up. See you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.